means for skiving covers system types, single step machine, parts and functions, and machine operation and safety. The system types are the metric system using the band knife, the hand guided which could be manual or machine, employing the cylinder knife or the disc knife, and the three-step skyver and the single-step skyver machines in current use. In matrix skiving, the work is placed in a template and passed through a band knife which gives the corresponding sky. The disc knife is a cutting device. Notice the direction of the work and the direction of rotation of the disc. This method is now obsolete. The cylinder knife is commonly used in modern machines. Notice the direction of rotation of the knife and the direction of work. The three-step skyver can give various skives in one operation. Different skive angles and thicknesses can be preset. The sequence of cuts can also be preset. Variations to the basic cuts like edge, fold and underlay skive can be derived by making adjustments. Coming to the single step skiver. Let's take a good look at it. The front view, the side view right, the rear view, and the side view left. This machine, like all others, is run by a clutch motor which transmits power when the treadle is depressed. This treadle should be connected by a pitman's rod and not a chain and hook. The main parts of the machine are the feed roller which feeds the work onto the machine. This is held under tension by a spring and a hook. The tension can be varied by adjusting the slots. The softer the material to be skived, the lighter the tension. The feed roller has to be as close as possible to the knife without touching it. For this purpose, there are feed roller adjusting screws, each with a locking nut. The front screw alters the angle of the feed roller and the back screw adjusts the depth. The pressure foot holds the material to the cutting knife and determines the amount of material to be cut off. It can be raised or lowered by the lifter. It is held in position by means of a spring clip. The pressure foot can be adjusted by means of two screws. The screw at the back adjusts the angle to obtain a thinner or thicker sky. The screw on top of the arm is meant for obtaining a thinner or thicker edge. 
the guide determines the width of the sky. It has a locking thumb nut and can be moved forward or backward to obtain the desired width. The cylinder knife skives the material. It rotates away from the operator and can be moved forward or backward towards the pressure foot. It should be as close as possible to the pressure foot without touching it. The knife, in order to give a clean sky, must be very sharp. The bed is a resting place for the skived components. The belt cover is a safety guard to protect the operator from the driving belt and pulleys. It is held in place by a thumb nut. There are three drive belts. For a clearer understanding of the drive belt, we will view it from the inside. The main drive V-belt moves the knife. The second belt drives the feed roller. And the third belt move the sharpening stone. The speed of the feed roller can be changed by moving the belt onto the next set of pulleys. The hand wheel enables the operator to turn the machine by hand. The sharpening stone is used for sharpening the knife. It should always spin away from the knife edge. The adjusting thumb nut moves the stone forward or backwards for sharpening the knife. Pressure foots are available in a wide